We are in Belgium, and as you can see, the weather is absolutely appalling. But this is kind of what makes these races so special. I mean, the atmosphere, the cobbles, the terrain, it's just the hardest challenge you could possibly take on in cycling. But we decided to take a closer look at the tech the teams will be using to make that challenge just that little bit easier. So here we are, and we're re really lucky to be joined by Lexi, the Bora Hansgrove mechanic, and we have Lucas Bosselberger's bike with us. And we're just talking to Lexi about the differences in the bike for the classics. Um, you were telling me one of the main differences is the, um, the junction box here underneath the stem yeah. a second ago. Yeah. Um, what would you change for the classics in this respect? Uh, we have special cage holders with uh, is one little plate that we have more space. Normally you have the rubber okay. over the stem. This rubber don't allow you so big stickers. And with the sectors, you need big stickers. Sometimes it's two or three layers of stickers, especially for Rope. And with this, we have here more space to glue them. That's one different to the normal, normal bikes under the season. But we will use them all over the year. The wheels is different, the tires, uh, sometimes the chain rings. That's all. <laughs> Depends which way the wind is blowing. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. Which direction you come. <laughs> and uh, you were telling me there's a bit more work involved in gluing the tubulars for the classics. Yes, uh, we need more layers of glue. Uh, we have a little bit more milk inside, more ceiling milk. Uh, that's some minutes more work. But especially the gluing is takes two or three days more that they really get dry. and. You need this for the classics. So I was just talking to Lexi and another really interesting detail is the tubulars that Bora will be using. These are the S-Works Hell of the North and they're 28 mil size for these races. They do go up to a 32 mil for Roubaix, but the team would normally just use 28 mil, maybe a 30 with the tarmac frame. Uh, the tarmac frame will only fit the 30 mil tyres. You can go large with the 32s on the Roubaix, but for these races, they don't feel that's necessary. The cobbles aren't as bad as Roubaix, so they, they opt for the 28 mils. Head of the North will give a lot more grip and it will also give more puncture protection. So they'll only use these tyres for this race, these races. Another interesting uh, point that Lexi noted was that the wheel set is the same for the whole season, but they'll only actually save these wheel sets for the classics just to kind of save the mechanics a bit more work and time when they're gluing the tubs. They, they'll put more glue on the, on the tubs, as Lexi said earlier, um, but they, they don't want to kind of repeat this process again and again throughout the year. So they'll save these wheel sets in the service course. They have about 60 wheels, which they'll use during March and April for these classics. And then for the rest of the year, they'll save them the service course and they'll only bring them out again for the gravel stages, say at the Giro. Uh, or any specific race which would be a bit more classic orientated throughout the year. Um, yeah, so the rest of the time they're nicely tucked up in the service course, ready to come out for Het Newsblad. So here we are with Gianni Moscon's Pinarello K10, which he'll be using ahead of this opening weekend with the Umut Pet Newsblad on Saturday and Kern Brussels Kern on Sunday. Now Gianni's opted for the K10, which has a slacker head tube angle and fork rake, ensuring better handling of the K10 on any type of roads. It also has wider tyre clearance, compatible with up to 28mm width tyres. Perfect for the classics. Now I love the seat post clamp on this frame. It's a three bolt system which I think would keep the seat post solidly in place. Something that is so important when you're smashing your bike over the toughest cobbles the classics have to throw at you. Gianni's also opted for the shifters here on his bars just on the tops. Smart choice in my opinion. When you're on the cobbles, especially in a race situation, it can be hard to change gear. Being able to simply flick down with your thumb and change gear is so handy, I think. Ineos are using Continental tyres this year and Gianni has gone for 25mm width, which is different to the 28mm we have mostly seen from other riders today. Maybe he feels he doesn't quite need the 28s or simply prefers the 25s. The mechanics have done a great job on these elite bottle cages in my opinion. It's hard to see but they have glued a thin bit of sandpaper on the cages. You don't want to lose your biddens in the classics when it can be so hard to take a feed from the roadside or a team car. Riders will definitely appreciate this bit of extra insurance from a lost bottle, I think. Clever little uh, hack on the bottle cages.
I'm over at the Trek Segafredo mechanics truck, and these are the bikes that they're going to be using in the Cobble Classics. So they're all on the Trek Madone for the Cobble Classics, which is cool because it's an aero bike and it shows how times have changed in the last few years, but it's got the, the ISO speed decoupler, the suspension in the seat post, which means that you've still got that comfort on the cobbles. And also to add comfort, they're using 28 mil tires. But what's cool about these is I've not seen them before. So these are Pirelli P0s, uh, but they're tubular. At the moment, mortals like us can't get the tubular version, only the clincher one, but that's really cool. Hopefully they'll be coming soon. And then some other cool details that are just for the, the cobbles are these bottle cages from Bontrager. They're called the back cage. They're made from recycled plastic and they're different from the normal lightweight cages they, they normally use in that they hold the bottles or they're said to hold the bottles really firmly. Nothing's coming out, which is important when you're bouncing around over the cobbles. It's easy to lose a bottle with a standard cage. And the chain set is awesome on this bike. So Trek Segafredo, they're sponsored by SRAM, so they're using SRAM Red Access with this beautiful chain set. But this is a special one. It's a 54 41 tooth uh, chain set, which is much bigger than the standard one that you or I can buy. And then that's combined on the back with a 10 33 12 speed cassette. So having that big 33 on the back there and then the, the, the chain rings on the front means that the overall spread of gears is absolutely massive and much bigger than what we've seen on 11 speed drivetrains in the past. And new for 2020, Movistar are being sponsored by SRAM. So previously, they well, since eternity, they've been sponsored by Campagnolo. So we've got SRAM Red Access on their bikes. And this is going to be for the whole season. But interestingly, uh, different from the Trek Segafredo bikes we, we've seen previously, they don't have that bigger chain set on there. They've got the standard 50, 37 access chain rings on there, the same that we can all commercially buy. And that's kind of the same theme throughout the rest of the bike. It's just a pretty standard setup for the cobbles. Nothing really different or special on here. We've got some nice blip shifters underneath the tops on the bars here. This is actually Jürgen Rowland's bike. But something that has caught my eye that I've not seen before are these new zip wheels. Well, they appear to be the same zip wheels, but they've now got updated graphics on them. I'll tell you what, let us know what you think. We'll put a poll that you can link through to the app, hot or not, on the new zip graphics. Tire width is also pretty standard. They're using 25 millimeter Continental Pro Limiteds, and that's quite interesting. But these are the, the early season cobble races, you know, Kerner, Brussels, Kerner, Het Newsblad. When you get on the really severe cobbles of Paris Roubaix, it'll be interesting to see if they use something wider. My guess is they will. So you may notice that we've just gone from the snow to the relative warmth of a lovely warehouse. And that is because we're in Israel Startup Nation's service course. Now, the service course does provide a massive advantage in the Belgium Classics to any team. You're essential to all the races and you have an easy and obviously warmth environment to maintain the bikes, get the bikes ready and provide any changes to equipment for all the upcoming races. Because These races do come really fast, one after the other. There's just so many in one month and such a short space of time that you really do need an organised environment to prepare the equipment and the bikes for the tests ahead. Now here I am standing by some cardboard boxes, which doesn't look very exciting. But the contents are, this is the entire bottle supply, the bidons that the team will be using for the Classics campaign. So if anyone likes a bidon as a bit of memorabilia or likes to follow a race and pick up any of the bidons thrown by the riders, <laughs> I think they'd like to have a look at all these bottles. This is just one box, 200 bottles. These riders are thirsty, I tell you. So who knows, this could be Andre Greipel's bottle later in the year. So here we are with Eric of Israel Startup Nation. Eric, what is the biggest challenge of the Classics campaign for the mechanics? Ah, you know, in before Classic, we all time have little bit more work because we need change. Uh, we need change uh, almost all tires because we need to be sure all is good uh, in this one one important race. Uh, and of course, we need to check everything in the bike. Yeah? And how many tires and wheels do you have to change just for people at home for a number? How many? Ah, you know, depends because uh, 
before this race we already glue for everybody new and you know how is this uh, every every rider have three bike uh, in this race this is a lot of work <laughs> so we're talking upwards of 50 50 tubers oh. and over the years have you got better at gluing the tubers what's your record time for gluing a tubular to a wheel uh, for the glue yeah i you know depends uh, how much time you have because normally we prepare also before some uh, tires we already put uh, one or two layer glue in the tire and if we need to change this like you know this is like five ten minutes five or ten minutes it would take me all day for one wheel <laughs> thanks eric for sharing all the information of uh, the classic campaign with us really appreciate your time yeah thank you very much thanks so i'm lucky to have the bike of suzanne anderson here she's a norwegian rider running for the women's team somewhere now I'm told by the mechanic here that all the women on the squad will be using ass savers this weekend. It's a simple bit of tech, but I think a great idea. Anything you can use to protect yourself from the harsh conditions. This one is especially sturdy and looks to provide plenty of protection in my opinion. One thing I really love is this number holder. Made and provided by Cervelo, it's designed to provide that bit of extra protection from saddle slippage on the cobbles. Cobbles are so harsh and really push the equipment to the max. So to have this for a little bit of extra peace of mind is brilliant. Now I love the quick releases on the Cervelo's through axle. This brakes are great but can make it tricky to get a quick wheel change during races. This one allows the rider to whip out their own wheel without waiting for a mechanic and an Allen key. Cervelo are using this thumper pump throughout the classics and also the rest of the season. Numbers are crunched at Team HQ and taking into account a rider's weight, race terrain and weather conditions, an accurate tyre pressure can be given for each individual rider. Mechanics then use the thumper pump at races to inflate the tyres to a very precise pressure. It's USB rechargeable and super compact, making it easy to pump up lots of different riders' wheels. Talking of wheels, all the squad will use Continental Tubulars and this Classics campaign they have opted for 28mm width in the Roubaix version. These tubs provide a lot more puncture protection and also grip on these brutal Classics routes. I just love the look of this bike. It's a super sleek design and looks made for sprinting and riding fast. I'm told the forks have added stiffness this year too, so that bodes well for Suzanne. Fingers crossed for her this Classics campaign. I hope you've enjoyed this look at some cobble Classics tech here on the ground in Belgium. Myself and Connor are going to go and make some more videos now, but I, I, to be honest, first I'm just going to warm up and go have a hot chocolate because I'm absolutely freezing. It's like raining all day. <laughs>